And there is a tiny island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean that economists love. That's because it helps answer this really basic question. What is money? Hundreds of years ago, the people on the island came up with an unusual form of money, coins made of stone. That's not the strange part. Some of the coins were the size of cars. Here are David Kestenbaum and Jacob Goldstein of NPR's Planet Money. The island is called Yap. And if you look it up on a map, it's just this tiny dot floating in the middle of the Pacific. Scott Fitzpatrick has been to this little dot. He's an anthropologist at North Carolina State University. You know, once or once or twice a week, they've got flights that pass through there. I mean, even today, it's sort of, it's sort of hard to get there. When European explorers got there, one thing stood out. Huge stone discs around the village, outside people's homes. If you scrub them, they're, they're, really, um, they're really beautiful. It's uh, kind of this milky, crystalline white. And I've seen a few of these if they're, you know, really cleaned well and they're out in the sun. Um, they'll almost blind you. They're so bright. These stone discs, this was their money. Yap doesn't have any gold or silver. But hundreds of years ago, explorers from Yap found limestone caves on an island hundreds of miles away. And they carved this limestone into huge stone disks. Somehow they managed to bring them back on little bamboo boats. When the boats got better, they brought bigger stones. You have a number of pieces of stone money that have been found at sites that were abandoned um, that are, you know, three, three and a half meters across that would have been seven, eight metric tons. So That's about the size of two small cars. It's pretty big. 